Hi there, this is Andy and today I will guide you on how to open a brokerage account on Interactive Brokers, fund it, buy and sell stocks or ETFs and navigate the platform. To begin, click the link below the video to earn a bonus of up to $1000 in Interactive Brokers stock. From this page, which is an invitation page, you can click continue. Alternatively, you can visit the Interactive Brokers website on your own. Once there, click open account and then start the application. Enter your email address, username, add password and select your country. As this is a real account, I will hide my information. But when you're ready, click create the account. You shall receive an email promptly and you need to confirm it. Do it and then you will be able to select the account you want. You can choose to open multiple accounts as they offer trading accounts, retirement accounts and custodian accounts among others. If you're interested in a retirement account, I have created a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do so. So just check the description and you shall find the link. Today though, we will proceed by opening an individual account. Prior to selecting your account type, make sure you add your state. Honestly, it was hidden, so I missed it the first time. It is above the plan selection. Now it's time to choose a service plan. Interactive Brokers have two service plans, the Interactive Brokers Lite and Pro. Now most likely you wonder which one to pick. How about I provide you with a little bit more information and that probably will help you decide which one is the best for you. Interactive Brokers Lite is a good for casual investors. You can trade US stocks and ETFs with no commission and there are no minimum balances required. However, your trades might not get the best price because they go through a system that turns money from order flow. On the other hand, Interactive Brokers Pro is better for active traders and professionals. It gives you better trade execution, meaning your orders get the best available price. You also get lower margin rates, lower fees on options, futures and international stocks, and access to advanced trading tools like algorithms and APIs. To summarize it, if you're new and you want free stock trading and simplicity, go with the light. If you trade often and want better pricing, lower cost and pro tools, pro is the better option. Once you make your selection, click start application. Great. Now add your contact information such as name, address and personal information, employment status, source of wealth and answer the three security questions. This will take a few minutes. So once you add all this info, please hit continue. By the way, if this is the first time you're opening an account, all these are pretty standard. Once you add this info, click continue, you shall receive a code in your phone number. Please add it on the pop-up and click submit. Great. Now you will have to configure your account. You can choose between three options, cash, margin or portfolio margin. Allow me to explain. A cash account lets you trade only with the money you have. No borrowing, no short selling and lower risk. A margin account lets you borrow money from interactive brokers to trade more, allowing for short selling and bigger gains but also bigger losses. Portfolio margin gives even more borrowing power based on your whole portfolio's risk, but it's only for experienced traders with at least $110,000 in their account. If you want safety, go with a CAS. If you want flexibility and leverage, choose margin. I will proceed with margin, which is the most common, but keep in mind, I have certain experience trading that you may not have. In that case, I would recommend cash account. Add your income and worth, investment objectives. My strategy falls under growth and income generation, as I want to increase my portfolio, but at the same time, I like to receive income, which I can reinvest. I want my money to produce more money, so my choice is obvious, growth and income. And last, select your trading experience. There's no one to impress here, so select what applies to you. Last, Interactive Brokers offers a Stock Yield Enhancement Program. The Stock Yield Enhancement Program allows you to earn extra income by lending your fully paid shares to Interactive Brokers. When Interactive Brokers loan your shares to other traders, usually for short selling, you receive 50% of the interest they pay. Interactive Brokers takes on the risk if the borrowed shares are not returned. This program does not restrict you from selling your shares at any time and you can opt out whatever you choose. It's a way to make passive income from stocks you already own with Interactive Brokers handling the lending process. If you decide to proceed without opting in, you can always activate it later on. Once you make your selection, click continue. 
Time to review all your information and go through the agreements and disclosures. There are plenty, so take your time. Sign at the bottom by entering your name and hit continue. Congratulations, your account is ready to go. Click go to login and you will be landed in your interactive brokers account. Let's hit get started. Welcome to the interactive brokers dashboard. It seems very clean and organized. I really like it. Our first order of business is to fund the account, as this is the only way we can start investing. To do that, click deposit funds under the fund your account icon, which is placed close to the center of your screen. Then select deposit funds. You will be presented with various options such as link a new bank, do a direct transfer from your bank, bank wire, online bill pay, mail a check, scan a check or transfer from Wise Balance. Honestly, Interactive Brokers offer the most options I have seen so far and I have created brokerage account in almost every known broker in the market. Pick the one that works best for you. As for this video tutorial, I will use the most common and easiest method for the majority of you to link a new bank account. So let's click on that. Two options, enter your banking information or log in at your bank. Either one will work, but log in at your bank option is a bit more convenient for me and that is because I use Plaid. Plaid is a very well-known service that allows you to connect your broker account to your bank and it's used by the majority of the top brokers out there. Click continue and enter your phone number if you have an account. If not, you will have to create one. I will continue as a guest to show you the process. Select your bank, for example, I use Capital One, so I will click on it and then continue to log in to your bank account. You will receive the following message on your screen, which is that interactive brokers would like access to your account information. This is normal, so click continue and you will link to a page that asks you to pick which account or accounts would you like to connect to the broker. Check the box with the account you want to connect and last authorize. Great. Now your bank account is connected to Interactive Brokers. You will get a new page to review your account information. Proceed with continue and on the bottom sign and enter your password and username once more so you can confirm. You shall receive a code on your phone, enter it and done. We can now fund the account. Click deposit funds, enter the amount. I will do $30 today and according to the information, the funds will be available today, which is great. Last step, review and confirm deposit. Done, the deposit was submitted. Now let's return back to the dashboard by clicking the portfolio tab on the top menu. The account has the funds in it and we're ready to perform our first trade, as well as to explore all the platform has to offer. To buy or sell stocks and ETFs, you need to click trade, which is on the top bar menu or the blue trade button on the right top side. I will hit trade and then order ticket which will get me into a new screen in which I have to enter the ticker of the stock or ETF I wish to buy. I will enter the ticker SCHD, press enter and select the Swap Dividend Equity ETF, which is an ETF that focuses on dividend. I guess the name kind of gave it away, right? Well, after selecting it, we can see the chart, price range, ask and bid prices, as well as the highs and lows of the day. Pick the action, which is buy, Add the quantity, I will do one, but Interactive Brokers allows you to buy partial shares as well. If you click on the search box, you have the option to select dollars and add your amount. To note here that is available only for US stocks and ETFs. It is always great to see brokers allowing the purchase of partial shares, as some shares, they extend to five, six, seven hundred, if up to a thousand. In our case, I will proceed and buy one share. I will set my order type to market and since I'm ready, I will hit preview. I always click preview as it is one more way to double check the order. Once ready, click submit by order. There's a warning popping up that has to do with the market order. Please read it in, and if you're okay with it, accept it and proceed. My order was filled. I bought one share of SCHD. Now let's head back to the main menu. I can see my account, which stands at $29.99. My available cash is at $2.23. And under my holdings, I can see the SHD position. To sell one of your stocks, you have quite a few options. You can click trade on the right side or top menu. But the best way is to click directly on the asset you want to sell. 
Now we are on the SCHD profile page. We can see all the relevant information, our positions, cost basis, which is rounded up by the way, and options on the top right side next to quote. To sell, hit sell button on the right side and you will have a slider window that you can use to either buy or sell. We will do the selling now. I will choose to sell, set quantity to one and hit preview. All is left is to click submit sell order. And as simple as that, you can buy and sell stocks and ETFs on the Interactive Brokers platform. I have not sold my position as I want to explore the platform further and see what it offers. And it always helps to have a holding to experience all the options and what it will show. Now let's explore what information a stock or ETF provides to the investor. As mentioned earlier, we can see the chart, the pricing of the day and the performance. In the chart, we can add indicators, which for many day traders could be useful. Also, you can trade options if you wish. My suggestion is that you do not until you have the knowledge to do so. It is true that many traders made quite a lot of money by trading options, but many lose fortunes as well. You don't want to be on that side. If you possess the knowledge to do so, then this could be a useful investing option for you. Moving forward by clicking fundamentals, you can get a lot of useful information about the ETF. The total expense ratio is very important when you invest on ETFs or mutual funds and you want it to be as low as possible. We can find ratings and a Morningstar review. And unlike many other brokers, Interactive Brokers provides a full report which can be downloaded in a PDF. This is quite important if you consider that the yearly Morningstar subscription starts at $249. Performance over the past five years or since inception, key ratios, risk statistics, dividends, news and tier seeds are all in your display. I have to say that so far I'm pleasantly surprised by Directive Brokers. I really like what I see. That was the overview page by the way. If you click from the tab above, uh, there are different sections that provide even further information with a great uh, breakdown on fees and expenses, which I've never seen on any other brokers so far. The holding tab is uh, really useful as it gives a breakdown of what stocks the ETF holds. It even takes it a step further by providing the location of the majority of the companies and uh, operating and the currency allocation. As a huge fan of dividends, I'm glad to see that they have a dedicated page for it. But I was expecting way more info. I do like though that they provide the dividend yield TTM. And be careful here as this stands for trailing 12 months dividend yield. It represents the percentage return an investor earns from dividends over the past 12 months relative to the stock's current price. The actual dividend yield for SHD as of today is around 3.8%. Last, I would like to refer to the social sentiment which measures the tweet sentiment and even has a buzz score. Not sure if uh, 1.29 is high, but let's compare it with a hot stock in the market which is the Palander stock at the moment. This one has a 3.39 score, which seems to be quite high from what I take. There are many of additional information here, such as short selling charts, securities lending, and so on. Honestly, for a day trader or an active trader, the platform offers quite a lot, which is great. For a new investor, it could get a bit overwhelming. I would like to mention here that Interactive Brokers allow you to trade crypto. You can enroll to Basic or a Crypto Plus account. The trading is powered by zero has and to enroll, you can click the enroll button. To enroll, make your pick, hit enroll, download and read the terms and conditions, read additional info and sign. And once you go through them, you will receive a message that your trading request has been submitted. I would suggest you to spend some time checking the rest of the platform out as it offers quite a lot. Most likely to cover every aspect on that video, it would have to be over an hour. Overall, Interactive Brokers Trading Platform is one of the best trading platforms in the market. It offers access to a vast array of assets and it is quite easy to navigate a trade. For experienced investors, it offers all the tools they will need to analyze and perform their trading. I hope that this video helped you to create an account, fund it, buy and sell stocks or ETFs and navigate the platform. Please like, subscribe and comment your questions below. I will be more than happy to get back to you. Talk to you soon.